Good afternoon, I'm Lee Anderson. St. Charles Medical Center is experiencing a shortage of nurses and hospital beds, causing them to look for different solutions to care for patients. Bola Badabo is here with more on the plan. Bola? Right now, Lee, the hospital offers financial incentives through a sign-on bonus and referral program to attract more workers. From the entire health system, our turnover is definitely up. St. Charles Medical Center in Bend is experiencing a nursing staffing shortage, which has limited the scope of care they can provide for patients. With 600 open positions, the hospital is working with an agency to hire traveling nurses. But the length of their assignment varies, can be six weeks, 10 weeks, 13 weeks. It's also initiated an incentive program rewarding the roughly 246 caregivers employed by the hospital with a $750 bonus if someone they refer is hired. The other problem is a shortage of beds, and it's a problem at all St. Charles locations. Transferring patients out of the region is not what we want to do. We want people to be able to have their health care locally. As of Tuesday, the hospital has also scaled back surgeries, but it still hasn't helped much. We were still struggling on day of surgery to have a bed available. Patients with less serious surgeries have moved down on the priority list. But it isn't uh, a life uh, or death situation that the patient could be in immediate danger within like the next six hours. It's something that could be rescheduled. Hospital management says they know housing and daycare struggles make it hard for nurses to relocate, so they've added a $10,000 signing bonus to attract more nurses. We've seen interest as in new nurse graduates that are just coming out of college. In order to prepare the licensed graduates to care for patients, the hospital is running two new nurse residency programs. The trainings are broken into three cohorts with one starting in August, September, and a third one, which will be added by the end of the year. We have seen more retirements over the last two years than what historically we have seen. The chief operation manager of Mosaic Medical, Carla Steven, also says its 15 medical centers are impacted by the lack of available nurses. Not only are hospitals understaffed, but the rise of Delta variant keeps bringing patients in. Lee, what are today's COVID-19 numbers? 